Okay, so we got all of our little strips made. We got the stitching on the side. Yeah. See that'll focus. Apparently not. But you can see the little line of stitching right down this side right here. And then to cut them, you know, just I do about two and a half, three inches and cut. And then I just use that one piece and I use it as a template and I cut the rest of them. And for our first hammock, we're going to do one of the triangle hammocks, so we only need three right now. Okay. And then I'm going to start with a 12 inch triangle, and the 12 inch triangle is basically a 12 inch square cut in half on the diagonal, and it gives you a giant triangle. Okay. With, the, with my fleece, I have a right side and a wrong side, so you want to make sure you put right sides together, which means on my fleece it's going to be the nice fluffy side instead of the smooth side, and then the print side to the fluffy side. And my thing is to make the corners look nice, when you put the tabs on the corners, I cut my corners off to give me a nice level edge. Let me throw us, just use some wonder clips real quick on this one. Just um, doing two, two on each side to make everything hold still so I can clip all my corners. So when you're done, this really isn't technically a triangle anymore. It's going to be a hexagon, meaning it has six sides. And it's the same with the triangle hammocks. Instead of a square, when you're done, after clipping all the corners, you're technically going to have an octagon. And when you're doing your tiered hammock, I suggest to clip the corners on those as well just to make sure you have enough space to sew the different layers together. So I've clipped or I've used my wonder clips and I clipped this together and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and about where there's an inch of space that's where I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna use my scissors. And if you want to cut it at an angle that's fine. Just try and make sure that they're even. If you cut an angle on one side make sure you cut an angle on the other. And mine's going to look kind of like a Superman logo on the top part. Put those in my trash bucket. So you see I have all my corners now clipped. So when I go in... I put my little tabs in, they're going to have a nice little area to have enough space for them to sew over. Okay. And if you want, you can go ahead. I like the Wonder Clips because they're, they can get all those really thick layers in together really easily. And you don't have to struggle with pins trying to go through, you know, the six layers, you know. Four layers for the tab the, and the two layers for the actual uh, hammock. So, clipping those just like that with the little tab on the inside, not on the outside. There's the little tab right there. And then do the last one. And I don't worry about which side the, uh, the seam on the tabs are. Just put them in. Okay. And then, lots of steps, I know. Um, and then you want to decide where you want your opening to turn the pouch right side out is. So I have six tabs, or six clips on each side and then one for each tab. So I have a total of nine clips. So I like to do it on one of the short sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put an extra clip there so I know that's where I'm going to keep 
this pouch open or this hammock open to, to flip it okay and then another thing sorry about the dogs barking um when you go to sew these because the the fleece will it'll move around it'll shift because it's really stretchy um, I always sew on the flannel side of things, so the flannel side is up. So if the fleece shifts on you, as long as it's lined up with the flannel, you sew on the flannel edge. If there's extra fleece hanging out on the edges, it doesn't matter. If you do it on the reverse side and the fleece creeps too far over, you may not end up catching the flannel side, and then you know, it's, you'll have to resew the whole thing anyway. So if you just make sure that the flannel side is up when you start sewing, It'll go, it'll be a lot smoother when you, um, to make sure that you catch everything. You know, as long as everything's lined up on both sides and there's no big gaps where the fleece and the flannel line up on the edges, you know, a small gap, you know, an eighth of an inch, that should be fine. I use the edge of my foot as my sewing guide and that's, you know, about half an inch or so. So, I mean, I have plenty of space. So, I'm gonna sew this up and I'll see you guys back in just a minute. Okay, here you can see me um, lining everything up and clipping everything into place on this hammock. Um, this video is also sped up to four times the speed that it normally is. And you can see I put in the clip for uh, leaving the hole open. Uh, the flannel was sticking out a little bit, so I decided to cut the excess away before sewing it to make sure I caught the flannel and the fleece with this. And then I'm, I clipped the corners. Here, I'm getting my machine ready. Um, I have a little piece of jumping fabric. It helps to keep the threads from tangling when you um, when you start sewing. And I added my uh, tabs as I went. Uh, make sure you have your needle down whenever you pivot on a corner. And then uh, just sew around the entire hammock. Sometimes when you go through uh, where the tabs are, you might need to give your machine a little extra push or a pull on the other end to make sure it goes through. It's a lot of layers to, for most machines to handle. And then as I get to uh, this last edge, you'll notice that I'll go ahead without uh, breaking any thread. I'll just uh, switch my machine to zigzag. Um, move my hammock slightly over to the edge and go ahead and zigzag around the entire hammock. Uh, just make sure that you clip those threads from where you jump before you turn your hammock right side out. And here I go zigzagging along. And as you notice, I will I uh, took off my my center clip for um, my opening, and I actually went past where my uh, my clip is. I picked up my stitch ripper and I had to rip out some stitches, so I had a hole big enough to to actually flip my hammock. When you stick your fingers in there to flip your hammock, go ahead and make sure you grab the tab at the furthest end, and then just pull your your hammock out. Find the next tab and pull it out. Uh, and then try and smooth out the edges as much as possible. There's my hole. I'm securing it with a pin. And then make sure you, you backstitch um, when you begin and end this last seam on your hammock. And looks like we have our corner hammock is finished. I'm just smoothing everything out to dump. And as you can see, mine did creep quite a bit on this one edge, so I'm gonna trim this up and then flip. You could always take this to your rotary uh, mat and cut it, but mine's in another room right now. So, I'll just use my scissors. Okay. 
something in the trash bucket. Whoops. And find your hole, which mine's over here. And we're gonna find a tab and pull it out. Depending on how big your hole is, you know, an inch and a half, two inches is good. But depending on how small your hole is and how much you're trying to pull through, it depends on how much you're gonna struggle to get it through. But on the flip side is that, you know, the smaller your hole, you know, the smaller area you have to stitch up once you um, flip it and you're ready to do the final sewing. Find another little tabby in here. Oh, and if you're wondering what my flannel is, um, it's this, oh, let me find one. It's an elephant print. There we go. And it's got elephants on it. It's orange with flowers and giant purple elephants. Um, all my other cage sets are blue and purple, so I thought orange and green was, um, different than what I had. And it will be nice and bright and fun for the sugar gliders. Not that they care. I mean, cage sets are mostly for the owners. Um, the uh, They don't care about the colors. If it's all black and white, they could care less. Um, so, you know, the fabric you choose is whatever you want. Um, and then you can use a couple um, wonder clips or a pin to hold the final hole in place. And then... Um, carefully very very carefully you want to stitch where this hole is along the edge making sure you catch both of the layers it can be tricky it took me a while to get it down so it mine looked pretty good so don't don't be discouraged if yours don't look great at the beginning mine didn't either it's one of those things it just takes practice um and then actually i think my tabs are a little bit long they're big so I might put shorter ones on my ones next time. But yeah, these will work fine. And then once I sew this up, we're going to have a nice corner hammock. So let me do that real quick. Um, one thing I also recommend is using a jump fabric. It helps a lot to make sure that your fabric doesn't get tangled when you first start sewing. And then you want to start a little bit before the hole and end a little after the hole. And go slow on this area because it's, it's one of those times where it's better to go slow and get it right the first time than have to do it several times and then it won't look nice. Looks pretty good. Let's see, it's well. My fleece didn't catch all the way. You can see my fleece barely caught on that edge. Hmm. When in doubt, tug on it. I'm tugging on it a little bit. It looks like it's fine. If you can't if you can't pull it apart right away, then it'll take your gliders a while too. Just make sure you check everything when you clean it. This is so to make sure you're your pets don't get injured for something that you you accidentally did or forgot to do or something like that. 
Um, so there's that's how you do the corner, and then um, because you cut a 12 inch square, you get two triangles. So there's two triangles, and then the 10 inch squares are slightly smaller. Um, I did a 9 inch square, and the, the hammocks were probably best for a travel cage. They were really, really tiny. So I don't even bother putting them in my big cage anymore. But go ahead and do that to the um, the other three triangles that you have. Um, or however many you made. You can make, you're not limited to two. You can make 16 if you want. Um, and then the same goes for um, the square hammock. Um, the thing with the square hammocks is that uh, you want to make two with tabs and two without tabs. Because... One with the tabs, we're going to sew to the two without tabs, we're going to sew to the, to one of the ones with tabs to make it a tiered hammock. My sugar glutters absolutely love the tiered hammocks. I see them hiding in there sometimes, you know, if I wake them up in the afternoon, they'll go hide in their tiered hammock because it's still pretty dark and it's, they're comfortable there. So.